Find Later Castle, located in the picturesque northeast region of Scotland, holds a rich and intriguing history that captures the imagination. While it was not created by Norse gods and goddesses, as some legends may suggest, the castle's origins can be traced back to a time of ancient nobility and dynasties. Perched on a cliff overlooking the North Sea, Find Later Castle stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the medieval era. Its imposing presence evokes images of kings, knights, and noble families who once called it home. The castle's history begins in the 12th century when it was built by Sir Walter Ogilvy, a prominent Scottish noble of the time. The site of Find Later Castle, however, has been occupied for much longer than the structure we see standing today. Long before Sir Walter Ogilvy's castle was erected, it is believed that an Iron Age fort occupied the area. These ancient fortifications were likely used for defensive purposes and offered strategic advantages for the tribes that once dwelled there. Although the Iron Age fort has long since disappeared, the story of Find Later Castle truly begins with Sir Walter Ogilvy. He constructed the castle as a powerful statement of his wealth and power, as well as a symbol of his family's nobility. The imposing structure was designed to withstand attacks and ensure the safety and security of its inhabitants. Find Later Castle is not devoid of romance and intrigue. In the following centuries, it witnessed a series of ownership changes, battles, and political maneuvers that shaped the course of Scottish history. During the 14th century, the castle and its lands passed into the hands of the Lindsay family, who were influential in the region. Under their stewardship, Find Later Castle underwent expansions and improvements, solidifying its status as a formidable stronghold. As with many castles in Scotland, Find Later Castle eventually became embroiled in the conflicts between rival clans and feuding families. In the 16th century, during the turbulent times of the Scottish Reformation, the Ogilvies and the Lindsays found themselves on opposite sides of the religious divide. The castle became a battleground witnessing sieges and attacks as each clan sought to assert dominance. Throughout the centuries, Find Later Castle changed hands several times, passing through various noble families. Each new owner left their mark, making alterations and additions to suit their taste and needs. Despite the changes, the castle maintained its formidable presence, commanding the attention of all who approached its imposing walls. As time marched on, Find Later Castle fell into disrepair. The ravages of time and neglect took their toll, and the once grand structure found itself crumbling away. Today, only fragments of the castle remain, a mere skeleton of its former glory. However, these remnants still manage to awe and inspire all who visit, offering a glimpse into the past and the stories that unfolded within its stone walls. Visiting Find Later Castle today is a truly immersive experience. The nature surrounding the castle is breathtaking, with its rugged coastline and panoramic views of the North Sea. Its location on the Banffshire coast makes it a popular tourist destination, attracting history enthusiasts, hikers, and nature lovers alike. While the legends of Norse gods and goddesses may tantalize the imagination, the true story of Find Later Castle holds its own fascination. From its origins as an Iron Age fort to its role in Scottish conflicts and its eventual decline, the castle we see today encapsulates the history of Scotland and the noble families who once called it home. Visiting Find Later Castle is not only an opportunity to delve into the past but also a chance to appreciate the natural beauty of its surroundings and the enduring legacy of the Scottish people. In a remarkable display of collaboration, a group of Norse gods and goddesses came together to save Find Later Castle in Scotland from cosmic disturbances. Thor, the god of thunder, used his powerful hammer to combat the chaotic energies threatening the castle. Vidar protected the castle with his strength and bravery, while Baldur created a protective aura. Nana brought forth peace, and Cernunnos, the Celtic god of nature, stabilized the castle's foundation. This divine unity ensured that the castle stood strong against the forces of destruction. In the mystical land of Scotland, a great danger loomed over Find Later Castle. Cosmic disturbances threatened the very existence of this ancient stronghold. But fear not, for a group of powerful mythical beings answered the call of duty. Among them was Thor, the mighty god of thunder. With his trusty weapon, Mjolnir, he stepped forward, ready to unleash his formidable power against the chaotic energies that threatened the castle. 
His hammer crackled with electricity as he prepared to do battle. Next to Thor stood Vidar, a god known for his unwavering strength and extraordinary bravery. He positioned himself as a stalwart shield, protecting the castle with his imposing presence. His steadfast determination gave strength to those who stood with him. Baldur, the invincible god, cast a powerful aura around the castle, an impenetrable barrier that shielded it from harm. His divine energy enveloped the castle like a shimmering force field, preventing any harmful influences from breaching its walls. Nana, the goddess of peace, brought forth a sense of calm amidst the storm that raged around them. Her soothing energy soothed the anxieties of those within the castle, and she radiated a sense of serenity that restored hope in the hearts of all who sought refuge there. And then there was Cernanos, the venerable Celtic god of nature. With his profound connection to the earth, he harnessed the power of the land itself. He focused his energy on stabilizing the very foundation upon which Findlater Castle stood. Through his connection to nature, Cernanos ensured the castle would remain standing strong. Finally, there was Sif, a goddess revered for her golden hair, which symbolized fertility and abundance. She channeled her divine energy to breathe life into the surrounding lands, revitalizing the vegetation and bringing forth a sense of renewal. Her presence brought vitality and prosperity to the castle and its grounds. And last but not least, Aiden, the guardian of eternal youth, watched over the inhabitants of Findlater Castle. With her gift of rejuvenation, she ensured that vitality and strength would always flourish within the castle walls. Together, these gods and goddesses formed an unbreakable alliance. Their powers combined to create a formidable defense against the cosmic disturbances that threatened Findlater Castle. They unleashed their divine energies, fearlessly battling the forces of chaos. Their efforts paid off. The castle, once on the brink of destruction, now stood tall and proud. The cosmic disturbances were quelled, the chaotic energies contained. The people within the castle rejoiced, their lives and homes saved by this extraordinary alliance of divine beings. This story of divine unity serves as a reminder of the power of collaboration, even in the face of great adversity. It shows that when individuals with unique strengths and abilities come together for a common purpose, they can achieve the impossible. In the case of Findlater Castle, the gods and goddesses combined powers created a force that no cosmic disturbance could overcome. So let this tale inspire you. Remember that strength lies not just in one individual, but in the unity and cooperation of many. Like the gods and goddesses of Norse and Celtic mythology, we too can overcome obstacles and protect what is dear to us by joining forces and harnessing our collective power.